Incidents of acne have been documented for over 4,000 years, dating back all the way to the ancient Egyptians. And what they believed is acne was caused by lying. So either all of us are mother liars, or somebody was lying to their kid trying to stop them from lying. Either way, we now know that acne is caused by lots of different factors. And that is why today I'm going to give you guys a complete guide on how to create your own skincare routine, specifically designed for your skin. Now, the first step to every good skincare routine is a cleanser for your face. And it's important to know that not every product is going to be meant for your skin. Some are meant for combination, some are meant for oily skin, some are meant for dry skin. So the way that you figure out what type of skin type you have is just by first thing in the morning, wash your face with water and then don't apply anything else to your face for the rest of the day. You'll find out pretty quick what skin type you have. If your face gets really shiny and all oily, you obviously know you have oily skin. Vice versa, if your skin gets really dry and tight, you've got dry skin. And if you get a little bit of both, you have dry cheeks and a, and a oily T-zone, that means you have combination skin. Now that you've figured out your skin type, then you can select your cleanser. And most of the time, if you look on the bottle, it's going to be right on the front labeled as for what type of skin it treats. Because if you get the opposite of your skin type, it can really make things worse and make you break out a lot more. Now, the second step is a facial toner. And this is something that I've implemented into my skincare routine in the past six months. And I've noticed like a significant difference in my skin. So the toner is essentially a water-based liquid that's normally infused with some like skin smoothing ingredients like eucalyptus, peppermint, or even aloe. And the toner's job is meant to gently refresh your skin without stripping out its natural moisture. And the toner also prepares your skin to just drink up the post-cleansing moisturizer and any of those other treatments that you're going to apply later on. The third step is a serum, which is definitely not an essential, but it does help a lot. There are all sorts of different serums that you can get specific to your goals, like skin brightening serums, hydrating serums, free radical fighting serums, acne prone and sensitive skin serums, reparative texture improvement serum. The one you choose really just comes down to what goals you have. If you want improvement in your skin's texture, you would obviously get the skin texture one, or if you have lack of hydration, you would get those. Step number four is an eye cream. Again, this is not an essential, but it definitely does help if you don't want some crusty ass eyes when you're older. <laughs> and it's also a very useful option for people who have dark circles. Typically eye cream has vitamin C in it, which has been proven to enhance the brightness of your skin and also help repair the skin tissue as well. Step number five is to moisturize, which I'm sure we all know what a moisturizer is. It just helps moisturize your skin. This tends to be an area of confusion for a lot of people, especially people with oily skin, because they're like, dude, I don't need a moisturizer. My skin's already so oily. It's just going to make it even more oily. But normally the reason why your skin is actually really oily is just because it's not adequately hydrated. Meaning that once you actually moisturize your skin, it's going to produce a lot less oil. So a moisturizer is definitely essential for every skin type. And once again, guys, with all of these products, make sure that you're buying it for your skin type. Don't buy anything else that's not because it's literally going to make you break out way worse. And the last step, which is definitely the most crucial, typically this is something that you're gonna wear during the daytime unless where you live, the sun never goes down, which is sunscreen. Now take a look at this picture. This lady literally applied sunscreen to half of her face for her whole life and nothing to the other. <laughs> I have no idea why she would do this or how much the person paid her to do this, but this is so stupid. But clearly you can see that one side of her face has been horrendously aged more than the other. So I really don't think I need to explain it more than just showing you this picture because I'm sure you're absolutely mortified. You're never not gonna to wear an SPF again. So that is your skincare guide, guys. If you guys enjoyed today's video, got some value out of it, please help me out by smashing that like button and commenting. You have no idea how much it helps. And like always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya!